The mandate of police everywhere is to protect people, but today one of the most famous police departments in the world was found guilty of endangering the public. The conviction against London's Metropolitan Police Force is over the shooting of a man officers mistook for a suicide bomber. It happened in July of 2005, just days after a series of bombs in London's transit system. The story from the CBC's Adrian Arsenault. Moments after the fatal mistake by London police. Look down the train, that's the body of Jean-Charles de Menezes. Seven police bullets had been fired into the young Brazilian's head that July morning in 2005. He was an innocent man just sitting on a crowded train. They were, police said at the time, under extreme pressure. It was weeks after the tube and bus explosions and the day after failed attacks. Would-be suicide bombers were on the loose and police seemed certain de Menezes was one of them. They confused him for Hussein Osman, followed him, confronted, and then killed him. There were protests and investigations, and today the courts ruled that the entire police force was guilty of putting the public at unnecessary risk. There's a fine of a million dollars. No police officer set out on that day to shoot an innocent man. I am certain that this death was the culmination of actions by many hands, all of whom were doing their best to handle the terrible threat facing London on that day. There are calls for the commissioner to quit. He says he won't and doesn't need to. The de Menezes family would have preferred that someone take personal responsibility, but view the trial as a good step. I have spoken to Jean's mother, Maria, and she said nothing can bring Jean's back, but she's at least pleased that the men and e-men of the jury haven't found the Metropolitan Police guilt of the charge. So the police were wrong. They broke the law. This isn't the end of the pursuit for justice and understanding of what happened. There will be an inquest. And there are still questions about whether London's police actually learned from their horrific mistake and whether London's public are any safer now at all. Adrian Arsenault, CBC News, London.